Magandang buhay, Leon Shans! Welcome on today's episode of Mark Puto with Teacher Jack. Ihanda natin ang ating tainga, ang ating isip at ang ating puso at sabay-sabay tayong Mark Puto. For today, I'll be discussing about solving routine and non-routine problems involving percentage. Before we start our discussion with our new lesson, let's have a review first on what we have learned on our past lesson. So last time we've discussed about the base, percentage, and rate. Okay, the first one, it is the ratio of the percentage to the base. It is usually in percent form or decimal form. What is it? Very good. It is rate. It is the totality. What is it? Correct. It is the base. And the last one, it's part of the totality. Of course, it is the percentage. Now, let's identify which is the rate, base, or percentage on the following questions. The first one is what is 25% of 2,500? So, we have 25% and 2,500. So, 25% is our correct rate and 2,500 is our correct base. Because the number with percent sign is always our rate, okay? And the totality is our base. Next one, what percent of 24 is 6? So we have 24 and 6. 24 is our correct base. And 6 is our percentage, okay? Always remember... Um, as what I have taught on our last lesson, base is always bigger than percentage. The last one, 84 is 60% of what number? So we have 84 and 60%. So 84 is our Yes, percentage. And of course, 60% is our rate. Very good. Everybody, please read with me. The results of Elvis pretest in numeracy showed that 20% of the learners were numerates. If there were 175 learners who took the test, how many learners got the result of numerates? What is asked? Tama! The total number of learners who got a result of numerates. Next, what are the given facts on our word problem? Correct! We have the base, which is 175 total number of learners and we have the rate 20% which is the portion of the learners who got the result of mean rates. Always remember that rate is usually with percent sign. So we are looking for the percentage. The next question is what operation or strategy is to be used? Correct. We're going to use multiplication. So, in finding the percentage, the operation that we're going to use is multiplication. Let's have the formula of percentage. So, we have here the magic triangle. You can use it in determining on what is the formula that you are going to be used depending on what you are looking for. 
Okay, so if you're looking for the percentage, our formula is rate times base or P is equals to R times B. So let's solve. Step 1, substitute the given facts to the formula. Okay, so our given facts are percentage is equivalent to N because this is what we are looking for. Rate is 20% and base is 175. So our formula is P is equals to R times B or percentage is equals to rate times base. Okay, so let us substitute R and B. So we have here P is equals to 20% times 175. Step 2, change the rate or percent to decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. Okay, so we have 20%. Let us convert it into decimal form. Okay, so ito yung decimal point ng 20%. We will move it two places to the left. Okay, so, 1, 2. That's why we have 0.20. Okay? So, 0.20 times 175. Next step is step 3. Multiply the rate in decimal by the base. So, we have 0.20 times 175. So, our percentage is 35. So, 35 yung learners na nakakuha ng result na numerates. Let's have our second word problem. Please read with me. Ina got 70% correct answers in her 80 items math quiz. How many items did she miss? Now, let's analyze the given word problem by answering the following questions. The first one, what is asked? Correct. The number of items Ina missed on her math quiz. Step 2 or question number 2, what are the given facts? Tama. We have base which is 80 or the total number of items and we have the rate, which is 70%, Ina's correct answer. Always remember that rate is usually with percent sign. And of course, we are looking for the percentage. Next question, what operation or strategy is to be used? Tama. So, gagamit tayo ng multiplication and subtraction. Always remember to obtain the percentage we always use the operation na multiplication. After getting the percentage, isa subtract natin yung percentage or yung total number of correct answers ni Ina sa total number of items ng math quiz niya. Okay? Para makuha natin yung total number of missed items ni Ina. Again, the formula in finding the percentage is, so we can use this magic triangle kung hindi natin kabisado kung ano ang formula ni percentage. Lagi lang natin nilagay si letter P sa upper part, si letter R which is the rate sa left side, and yung base sa right side lower part. Okay, so if we are looking for the P or percentage, our formula is P is equals to R times B or percentage is equals to rate times base. Let us solve our step 1, substitute the given facts to the formula. Again, our given facts are percentage is equals to N. This is what we are looking for. Rate is equals to 70% and base is equals to 80. Our formula, percentage is equals to rate times base or P is equals to R times B. Let us substitute the R and B on, with our given facts. 
Okay, for R we have 70% and for B we have 80. So meron ngayon tayong P is equals to 70% times 80. For step 2, change the rate or percent to decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. Okay, so ito yung ating rate, si 70%. Let us convert 70% into decimal form by moving the decimal point two places to the left. So our decimal point here is in between of 0 and percent sign. So move natin siya ng two decimal places to the left. Okay, so 1, 2. So, meron na yun tayong P is equals to 0.70 times 80. Next is step 3. We will multiply the rate in decimal form by the days. Okay, so we have 0.70 times 80 is equals to 56. So, ibig sabihin, 56 yung correct answers ni Ina sa kanyang math quiz. Next is step 4. So, we will subtract the number of correct answers to the total number of items. So, again, the total number of items is 80 and the total number of correct answers or the percentage is 56. So, let us subtract 80 minus 56. So, our difference is 24. So, ibig sabihin, 24 yung total number of missed items ni Ina sa kanyang math quiz. Always remember that percentage is part of the totality. Percentage can be obtained by multiplying the rate by the days. And percentage is denoted by percentage is equals to rate times base or P is equals to R times B. There you have it, kids. I know that you've learned a lot on today's episode. A friendly reminder, kids. Don't forget to answer your activities for this week's lesson that can be found in your module. If you have some queries or questions, don't hesitate to chat Teacher Chat on my Messenger account or on our Messenger group chat. Kita-kita tayo muli mga bata sa susunod na episode ng Math Tuto with Teacher Jack. Thank you so much for watching and listening on this video. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel, I-click lang ang subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong video lessons ko. Maraming salamat! God bless! Bye-bye!